The Russian Minister of Industry and Trade underscored in an interview with the TASS agency that Russia has a significant opportunity to establish a position in the turboprop regional aircraft market, which renders the IL-114-300 a promising export candidate. Our goal is to provide the country with high-quality Russian aircraft. The next step will be to enter the export market, and we have excellent planes such as the IL-114 turboprop, which has significant export potential, the minister stated. Alikhanov asserts that the annual demand for this category of aircraft crosses 1,000 units. He further stated, we have every chance to claim our share of that market. Alikhanov had previously observed that the IL-114 has a clear niche in Asia, Latin America, and Africa, where very large markets remain accessible for the aircraft, despite the pressure of sanctions. This observation was made two weeks earlier. The Bombardier-8 Q-Series, Embraer E-175, and ATR-72 are the aircraft that compete with this one. Additionally, the Yakovlev Yak-40, despite being an older model, continues to operate in certain African regions for short-haul flights. The SSJ-100 aircraft in Russia currently fulfill the requirements of this class of aircraft. However, turboprop aircraft have a significant advantage as they are more suitable for takeoff from unprepared runways, such as dirt and ice strips, which renders them more appealing for regional aircraft that serve local airfields. This is particularly critical for a nation with extensive geographic boundaries, such as Russia. Furthermore, turboprop aircraft necessitate shorter runways, which renders them more efficient in areas with inadequate airport infrastructure. The IL-114-300, a new Russian aircraft, is currently undergoing active certification testing in Lukovitsi. Under the program of comprehensive import substitution, this aircraft has been developed. The second prototype has already completed 12 flights as part of factory development tests, including a recent three-hour flight at an altitude of up to 7,500 meters on November 18th. The primary objective of the evaluations is to evaluate the functionality of systems and components that are manufactured domestically. The IL-114-300 initiative is designed to enhance the modernization of the regional turboprop aircraft fleet. Serial production is currently underway at the Voronin Lukovitsi Aviation Plant, which is a division of JSC RSK MIG, in addition to testing. The third prototype's maiden flight is anticipated for spring 2025, and its assembly is nearly finished. Furthermore, the first serial aircraft is currently being built, and the fabrication of airframes for subsequent units has commenced. Concurrently, the aircraft's component fabrication is in progress. There is an expectation that the IL-114-300 will be certified by the end of 2025, and deliveries to consumers will start in 2026. The project is bolstered by substantial investments, comprising 12.563 billion rubles, or USD 25 million, which include 9.4 billion rubles, or US 94 million, in 2025, 706 million rubles, or USD 7.06 million, in 2026, and 2.5 billion rubles, or US 25 million, in 2027. The allocation of these funds is intended to support the development of further designs, certification, the expansion of serial production, and the establishment of spare parts inventories. The ODK Klimov facility in St. Petersburg is currently manufacturing the TV711 ST01 engines for the I114-300. The annual output of 24 engines will commence in 2027, and engine deliveries will increase in tandem with aircraft production. Six engines are scheduled for 2025 and 2026. The initial group of three serial aircraft is scheduled to be delivered to customers in 2026, as per the current plans. Production will increase to 12 aircraft annually, beginning in 2027. A contract for the delivery of the first three aircraft has already been executed, and it is anticipated that the number of orders will increase following the acquisition of type certification. Now, do you think Russia can sell I-114-300 in non-Western world in good quantities? Let us know in the comments. Please like and share our videos and subscribe to our channel. Please also take membership in our channel to encourage us.